guys what is going on and welcome to the very first time I have ever done ghost stories on a FIFA video game. Normally I do this on Call of Duty Black Ops but I don't want to have Call of Duty on my channel anymore because it kind of turns people away. This is a FIFA channel obviously so I'm going to be doing it over FIFA 14 demo gameplay. I hope you guys are excited because you've been asking for this forever. If you guys have not heard of any of these ghost stories you can go back and watch some of my other ghost stories over the Black Ops gameplay, even though I know you're probably not that interested in it. Normally, I don't do it on face cam, so this is going to be the first time on face cam. And this is going to go into detail. I'm going to just describe myself a little bit to the new people, because there's tons since I did ghost stories. There's a possibility I might retell those ghost stories over some FIFA 14 videos in the future. Let me know if you guys want to see that or if you guys are interested in that. But anyway, I am Fangbanger. Um, my name is Jesse. I am from the state of Texas but for a while I grew up for like four and a half years I grew up in Oklahoma with my mom not to mention that all of my family on her side is from Oklahoma and we're all Native American which I know I look entirely Native American it's just it's just coming out of me but I do have really dark brown eyes um they're actually actually they're not even that dark they look dark in this video they're like a hazily color but uh, you can only see that whenever you're not in this video pictures anyway so, uh, because I'm a Native American, and I mean, this is not really why, but I've always thought this is why. Oh, my parents have always thought that I've had this, like, connection with the, with some type of afterlife or something like that, or some type of other, not a being, I guess you would say, because it's not really a being, but, um, my whole life, I've always been able to have these, like, where I, I see things, and I hear things, and I'm not like that stupid kid off the of sixth sense, and I'm like, I see dead people. But um, I've had these occurrences that have happened, and they started when I was really young, and like starting up to the, like when I was like three or something years old, and I used to hear these like footsteps coming in and down and up in my hallway, and um, I, my door would like open, and then I would you know ask my mom like why were you walking up and down the hallway in the middle of the night, and she'd be like what are you talking about? So that's kind of where they started like seeing the occurrence with me, and some stuff have happened to me in my life. It's happened to other people in my family. And I've had these occurrences to where I believe in the afterlife. I believe that some people get stuck here. And I have this type of stuff. I'm not like crazy about it. I don't like go into detail and like freak out and be like, oh, I want to, you know, I'm a medium. I want to touch people. But I do think that I'm sensitive to it at least. And you might think it's crazy. You might not. But at least it's a story you get to sit down and listen to while you watch FIFA. So this story is going to be, I was, I believe, the age of nine or so. And I was living in the exact same house, which if you got to hear ghost stories, was the one that was the, it used to be like a nursing home that burned down to a certain amount of stories and they rebuilt the house over it. And I had that whole thing where I scared the shit out of y'all with that screamer face um, whenever my door slang open. But this is the exact same house. Nine years old, um, if, you, if I could describe the house on, it was a huge one story house and it had, it had become a one story house, I mean huge, and it had a basement underneath it. And so on one side of the house was my mom and what would be my sister's room. She was a baby. She, she wasn't born yet, but she was in the middle of being born or going to be born. Um, then there was the living room and it was all huge back there and you had to like go back into the bedrooms. And then you came through the kitchen and to the very back by the back door, um, this is huge long kitchen, back into this one part is my room. And my room is above, like in the middle of the kitchen, there's this huge gated fence and it's black and it looks down into the basement. There's actually stairs that go down in the basement. There, and the only thing that stops you from like falling down, which would be for children or something, was this gated fence. So um, it was freaky enough as it is, because in the middle of the night, if you're having to like walk, like say I was going from the living room to my bedroom and it was dark in the kitchen and you had to even peek down there, it was crazy. And we had my brother who there wasn't, it was only three bedrooms up top. So whenever we moved in, they built a bedroom downstairs but it didn't completely get built like they started to build it and it had these like wooden plank things or whatever and then it just became this like open room that sometimes he would put this sheet over to cover himself I don't know he was kind of a crazy kid and he was gone all the time anyway so it didn't matter he was like a weird I don't know um so we go and we're in this house and I'm used to him being there and there's a certain night and I ended up coming home. I had a baseball game. I can remember this like vividly. I had a baseball game and I'm dead tired. I've played this long game. I was a pitcher. I pitched the entire game and I was ready to go to sleep. I remember getting home and sitting down and in my bedroom, um, you have these vents, at least where I live there. And I've seen this a lot in Oklahoma and the vents looked down. It was actually like a floor vent that you could see down into the basement. Like if you were to pull it up and pull the vent out, you could actually like you couldn't fall in the basement, you couldn't fit in it. But you could see down into the basement. So I'm sitting there in the middle of the night, I had fallen asleep, 
and my oh, this dog this dog better not ruin the story um i had fallen asleep and so um i remember looking down into the thing i hadn't really like questioned my mom on like what was going on with the house i just came home and i was tired and i'm, I'm going to sleep mom and they were going to sleep too her and my stepdad were on the other side of the house so i remember looking and my brother had a light in his room so i saw the light was on and I could see that because there, you know, light would light up and I could see it in the little vent in my floor. So I was like, oh, guy, Jimmy's home. Great. He's usually a problem child. So I knew that he was probably going to be annoying. He had like a TV and stuff down there, but nothing was on. There was no TV or anything on. So I went to, and I went and laid down and I remember falling asleep and I woke up to like this, like a little bit of like a crashing noise in the basement um, because I could hear almost everything that went on down there. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, what the heck? What is he doing down there? Why, what is that noise? And so I'm just like, <laughs> through the vent, I'm like, Jimmy, shut up. Stop making noise down there. And I, I yell down there and he doesn't say anything back. And my brother always says something back. He'd, he'd say something like, you know, like, you shut up, Jesse, or something like that. It would have been just some stupid stuff. And so I just, I'm like, that's weird. So I go back to sleep. Oddly, I don't know why I could go back to sleep. I just didn't think anything of it because you know, it's my brother down there being a jackass. And so I go back and I, I lay down and it can't be 30 minutes later that I start hearing the, the rustling noise down there again. And then I start hearing like a like a, a snickering almost. It's like someone's laughing and they're down there. And so I'm just like, what the? I'm just like, who? maybe he's, he's had someone stay the night and something's making him laugh or maybe he's... I don't know, he can't be watching anything on TV because I'd be able to, I'd know, I'd hear that down there. And so, you know, I, I raise the thing up. I actually, like, lift the thing out and I'm just like, Jimmy, shut up. And I see this, like, movement, like a shadow, actually, like, go across the light down there. You can see it. And I tell him I know he's down there by now. I know he's down there. And so I'm just like, okay, uh, he's just going to ignore me. This is a situation. And I get really pissed off and I decide I'm just going to, I'm going to lay down. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to let this go because me and my brother fought a lot when we were younger. I knew that he was gonna possibly continue to do what he was doing. So um, I sit there and I lay there and I don't go to sleep and my eyes are open and I start to hear it again. I start to hear the rustling down there and like the laughing. So this time I'm just pissed. I'm full on getting out of bed. I'm pissed off. I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna raise some hell. So I go down there. I I, I, I storm out of my room. Bust my door open. I'm going down. I go open the little gate or whatever, and I open the gate up and I start walking down there. And I get down to the bedroom, and nobody's in it. There's nobody there, whatsoever. And I just sit there in like a complete pause, and I start looking around. And it's like I'm just like, oh, at this point, it's almost freaking me out to the point where I think that someone is broken into the house or my, what? What? What my brother's doing? So I'm just like, Jimmy. And I'm like, where are you hiding? I, I remember calling out, like, where, where are you? You know, you need to be quiet or whatever. And so I, I, like, turn around and I look, and there's only, like, a certain area he could be in where the laundry was. And I went over there, and I looked why I would go over there. Why I would go over there. In these moments, I think back to it, and I have no idea why I would even do it. But I go over there, and I look, and there's nobody there. And so I, 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 I panic. I freak out, panic run upstairs because I think someone's broken in or something. I already had a situation a year before that where someone tried to break in my house. I don't know if I told you all that story. Run into my parents' room and I'm like, Mom, you know, I think someone's in the basement or I don't know if Jimmy's in there or he's just messing with me. And she's like, no, Jimmy's not, Jimmy's out of town. Him and my cousin uh, Nick had like gone out of town to Commerce, which wasn't that far away to stay with my aunt. He was not home that night. And I was just like, no, there's someone down there. I promise you there's someone down there. So, of course, you know, they storm out of bed. My stepdad and my mom storm out of bed, and they go, and they, like, I mean, they prowl, they look everywhere, and then they go check the door, and the door is locked from the inside. So, nobody could have been in there. It had to be, that was, like, one of the T1 moments of where I knew, like, I'd always thought I heard things, and I'd always imagined, you know, of course, you hear things, and you just, oh, it's messing with your head, but no, I saw it. I saw the shadow go across the light, I heard the, whatever the laughing was, and I heard the movement down there and there was nothing down there. So, I mean, there's, there's going to be people who, like, don't believe in that stuff, and obviously I'm going to get, you know, comments that are going to be either I've seen this before, I've done this before, or you're crazy or whatever, but I promise you, like, I'm sitting here, you can see my face now as I'm telling you this story, 
and I'm kind of like freaking out as I think about it now, but it happened. And it was probably one of the scariest moments of my life. That house was terrifying. If you didn't, if you haven't got a chance to hear the other story from it, my god, you need to go back and watch my video and hear that story. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video though, guys. That is my ghost story. I have other ones that I can bring to you. They're not all as long or as, some of them are short. Um, and they're from like different family members and stuff. I've already done some of those. If you want me to bring back the old ones, but put it over new FIFA gameplay, I live these stories, so I know them. I can tell them to you over, it'll be the exact same, but except for like 30,000 more people will hear it because they haven't, and they're too lazy to go back and watch the other one. I don't know. Anyway, if you like this video though, guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. We have other stories I like to do in story time, like high school stories, college stories, all that kind of stuff. Um, if you haven't subscribed to me, why the hell not? And until next time, get bang bang nerds.